Mr Galloon. The Deputy of His Majesty the King and Crown Prince, His Royal Highness Prince Amman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, paid a visit today to the National Audit Office, where he met with the office's chief, Hassan Al Jalahma, and senior officials. His Royal Highness said that protecting public money and tackling all forms of corruption are a national and moral responsibility. He added that targets should be established in order to measure government performance and tackle violations and wastage. He also said that protecting and preserving public money is linked to managing budgets and spending, noting that the Bureau's role is one of the landmarks of His Majesty the King's reform project and is a tool to continue the strategy. He noted that the Bureau is a constitutional institution that should support the upgrade of government performance. He was briefed on the office's procedures in monitoring financial and administrative performance and exposing violations and stressed that the role of the independent institution is to direct the spending of public money and monitor performance in the best interests of the country and its people. His Royal Highness the Deputy of His Majesty the King stressed that all reports issued by the NAO must be implemented so as to reinforce correct practices and combat financial corruption and mismanagement. He highlighted the office's role in enforcing the principles of transparency and accountability in accordance with the proper method of following up and implementing the recommendations and observations of the office. He also spoke about the procedures and recommendations issued by the office each year and the government's response to these observations that aim to conserve public money. In this regard, His Royal Highness said the office's duties and the culture of accountability must be reinforced and cooperation with the government must be increased as a way of activating the office's role in developing the performance of the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. For his part, Mr Al Jalakama expressed honour at His Royal Highness the Deputy of His Majesty the King's visit, expressing thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his care and support for the office's reports and recommendations. He stressed that His Royal Highness's visit was a good opportunity to listen to his wise directives and discuss ways of consolidating cooperation between the NAO and government institutions.
the Deputy of His Majesty the King and Crown Prince, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received at Rifa Palace today the GCC Chiefs of Staff of the Armed Forces, their assistants, the Assistant Secretary General of the Council's Military Affairs, and the Commander of the Peninsula Shield Forces. His Royal Highness affirmed that reinforcing military cooperation between GCC countries is necessary to support their security and stability in order to preserve the GCC state's achievements and to make more progress in all sectors. He added that implementing the directives of their Majesties and Highnesses, the GCC leaders, is the right way to guarantee the region's security and stability. The Deputy of His Majesty the King expressed satisfaction at the progress in military and security cooperation between GCC countries. He affirmed Bahrain for all efforts aimed at increasing cohesion and integration between GCC countries based on their joint relations and shared aspirations and goals. For their part, the GCC Chiefs of Staff expressed thanks and appreciation for His Royal Highness's directives, which reflect Bahrain's keenness to support the progress of joint Gulf cooperation. His Royal Highness the Deputy of His Majesty the King and Crown Prince, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received at Rafah Palace today the US Secretary of the Navy, Ray Mabus, and his accompanying delegation. His Royal Highness praised the deep-rooted bilateral relations, affirming Bahrain's keenness to develop them in all fields in general and in military and defence fields in particular. He also discussed with Mr Mabus regional and international developments, as well as issues of common concern. Mr Mabus meanwhile hailed joint cooperation and the efficiency of Bahrain's Royal Naval Force, expressing eagerness to consolidate bilateral military cooperation. His Royal Highness the Deputy of His Majesty the King and Crown Prince, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received at Rifa Palace today the Chairman Emeritus of JGC Group, Yoshihiro Shigehisa, and members of the Bahraini Japanese Economic Cooper Cooper Cooperation Association, who are in the Kingdom to take part in the Entrepreneurship Forum 2013. His Royal Highness expressed satisfaction at the progress in Bahraini Japanese relations, thanks to the care of both countries to reinforce cooperation. He stressed that exchange visits and continued communication enhance joint cooperation in all fields in general and in economic and industrial sectors in particular. He praised the advanced and diverse Japanese investment and its pioneering role in industrial development based on human resources, pointing out that Japan has achieved industrial leadership in technology and research. His Royal Highness welcomed Japan's participation in the 2013 Entrepreneurship Forum and its initiatives for more investment opportunities that would positively benefit both countries and open more doors for development in various fields. For his part, Mr Shigehisa expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Deputy of His Majesty the King for meeting with them and for his care for Japan's participation in the forum that included many experts in the fields of investment, industry, energy and medicine.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, today chaired an expanded work meeting, meeting tasked by His Royal Highness with reviewing the ongoing cooperation between government and parliament. His Royal Highness affirmed the government's keenness and firm determination to push forward cooperation with the legislative authority, stressing that this fruitful cooperation must continue unabated. His Royal Highness stressed that any act which might negatively affect the strong relationship between the executive and legislative authorities is unacceptable. He added that cooperation with constitutional institutions, including the Representatives Council, is a duty dictated by national responsibility and a constitutional commitment. His Royal Highness also said that it is absolutely unacceptable to procrastinate or allow any shortcoming which might impede the desired cooperation which is an obligation of every member of Parliament who represents and speaks on behalf of his constituents. He also said that the government needs to cooperate effectively and positively with the legislative authority, responding diligently to MPs' questions in line with rules and regulations, and that ministers' answers should include all the information necessary to achieve the end objective. He pointed out that MPs have a constitutional right to ask questions, and it's the government's duty to answer them. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister reiterated the government's keenness to continue collaboration with the Legislative Authority and to upgrade this cooperation in order to achieve national gains, stressing the government's respect for all MPs and its appreciation of their efforts. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, paid a surprise visit today to the King Hamid University Hospital to inspect its daily work and to be assured on the quality of the services it provides to citizens. His Royal Highness stressed that the quality of the services and care provided by such a state of the art medical monument should match the dear name it bears, His Majesty the King. He called for the hospital's medical services to be constantly developed with expert staff and training and with effective management that can ensure that citizens receive the optimum benefits from it. His Royal Highness also commended the efforts exerted by those in charge of the King Hamid University Hospital, praising the outstanding competence of the Bahraini medical staff. He said the government supports the kingdom's health sector so as to develop it in line with the latest international standards and ensure that the citizens receive the best and most effective medical services. His Royal Highness toured the hospital's departments and wards and was briefed on the increasing number of outpatients as well as the modern medical equipment introduced. He hailed the efforts of its staff in providing outstanding services for citizens and expatriates. He stressed that citizens should receive appropriate treatment for all incurable diseases. His Royal Highness affirmed that the government spares no effort to provide the latest diagnostic equipment and has to prepare medical staff capable of treating them. He noted that meeting citizens' health, housing, educational and services needs is the core of the government's daily work. He also noted that setting up modern health facilities in the Kingdom is included in the government's work strategy as part of the comprehensive development and progress witnessed by the Kingdom in all sectors. He underlined that the King Hamid University Hospital had consolidated the quality of medical services in the Kingdom thanks to its modern and advanced medical equipment and highly trained and qualified medical staff, adding that it is a key project that enhances the country's pioneering health position in the region. His Royal Highness asserted that the Kingdom's developed health and medical services and progress in consolidating the comprehensive healthcare system prove that the government is on the right path and that it will continue upgrading all health services so as to meet the present and future needs of citizens. His Royal Highness highlighted the need to listen to citizens' opinions and remarks, especially regarding the health sector, and to take these into account, as they are real indicators that reflect their interaction with the performance of government bodies. For his part, the commander of the King Hamid University Hospital, Major General Dr Sheikh Salman bin Atiyatullah al-Khalifa, extended sincere thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness 
for his interest in enhancing the health sector in the kingdom and his constant support for the hospital, enabling it to become a pioneering health edifice in the kingdom and the region. He affirmed that thanks to His Royal Highness's constant support, King Hamid University Hospital has become the citizen's main destination and has been equipped with the most advanced medical equipment, which he said has brought about a quantum leap in the kingdom's health and medical services. The BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa met with GCC Chiefs of Staff of the Armed Forces who are in the Kingdom to take part in the fifth consultative meeting of the GCC Supreme Military Commission. The BDF Commander-in-Chief hailed the GCC Chiefs of Staff's efforts to reinforce joint military action through consultative meetings aimed at consolidating cooperation and coordination between GCC Armed Forces. He highlighted the results of the meeting hosted by the BDF pointing out that such efforts will strengthen joint military action and unify GCC military principles in line with the development of joint relations and in the best interest of GCC countries and their peoples. Meanwhile, the Chief of Staff, Major General Sheikh Daij bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired the fifth consultative meeting of the GCC Supreme Military Commission. He conveyed the wise leadership's wishes for the meeting's success and their support for holding such gatherings between GCC Chiefs of Staff of the Armed Forces. He affirmed the BDF's interest in strengthening joint cooperation and coordination between GCC Armed Forces out of its belief in the importance of joint military cooperation in further developing GCC Armed Forces. He also noted the importance of the meeting's recommendations that seek to affirm the principle of collective security and commitment to consolidating joint defence systems. The meeting also discussed ways of reinforcing cooperation by raising the combat readiness of the Peninsula Shield forces, increasing joint exercises and drills, and unifying efforts and principles. The 17th session of the National Dialogue on the political theme is underway at the Issa Cultural Centre. In today's session, participants are rediscussing the issue of principles and values in accordance with the agreed agenda. The Dialogue spokesman Issa Andrahman said that at the previous session, participants held an in-depth discussion on the topic of representation that was adjourned in the earlier session held on March the 20th. He said moderators had presented the draft prepared by the working group that included principles, values, implementation mechanisms and several main titles for topics of discussion. Mr Abdurrahman said representatives of the Coalition of the National Political Societies 
independence from the legislative authority and the government, had demanded that the agenda of the dialogue be considered as the agenda of today's session. The ultimate goal for the continuation of the national consensus dialogue in its political theme is seen by many as an important step that would add value to the democratic reform project introduced by His Majesty the King, which received high international recognition as it would put Bahrain on the path of progress and prosperity.